And in our top business story today, on the opening day of Cityscape Global 2015, individual developers revealed their unique projects for the region, including Dubai South, who announced the launch of the Villages project as an innovative luxury housing concept. At a press conference hosted on the sidelines of the event, representatives of the rebranded Dubai World Central, Dubai South, said that their upcoming project, the Villages, aims to reinvent the urban ecosystem. On the uniqueness of the project, Dubai South officials stated that the project intends to mitigate the everyday problems of residents, such as commuting to schools and workplaces, by providing luxurious solutions all under one roof. It was mentioned that each village at the 145 square kilometre city will have designed residences, bedroom apartments, studios, lofts, villas and townhouses, while the residential units will have access to recognised schools, a civic centre and a health and wellness complex, in addition to high street and retail outlets. Officials at the conference revealed that property sales are expected to start towards the beginning of 2016. Dubai South is also home, of course, to Al Maktoum International Airport, set to become the world's largest airport on completion. Since we are going to create up to half a million or 500,000 jobs opportunities in Dubai South, and we see it as home for one million people. So we thought, okay, let's not take this as a burden to Dubai. Let's not uh, suffocate people with uh, with day-to-day -day, uh, um, um, stress uh, and and difficulty in managing their lives with their families. So we thought, okay, coming from uh, again, inspired from the vision of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, is to give people happiness, is to give them back time, is to give them back their wellness and their uh, and the better education and well-being of their children. So we came from what really people want to see and how to live in the going forward in their future, and then how to stand out and be committed to delivering these solutions. Looking to the tourism and hospitality sectors, commenting on the delivery of a mega 80-story tower, D1, which is adjacent to the Palazzo Versace Dubai Resort and Condominiums, the CEO and founder of Enshar, Raza Jafar, stated that their landmark waterfront project offers luxury and opulence to their customers. Another mega project revealed on the opening day was the Sharjah Waterfront City, a real estate project of the Sharjah Oasis Real Estate Development. Giving more details about the project, the president of the Sharjah-based development stated that their project offers a luxurious and environmentally friendly city. Spread across 36 kilometers of coastline with a total area of 60 million square feet, the project is offering a fully advanced residential, commercial and tourism development for the region. The scale of the project is to give you an idea, the D1 uh, building, it's an award-winning architecture. It is one of the most elegant, tall buildings that you see in an amazing location like Culture Village right on Dubai Creek with over 520 residences. Uh, it has got an amazing feel to it as you enter into the building. Uh, it's a huge lobby, a lot of services, and right next to the Palazzo Versace Hotel and Residences. Uh, if you look at Palazzo Versace Residences and the hotel, this again is a unique piece of architecture uh, blended with Baroque design and the Arabesque uh, architecture to incorporate the culture village theme. Uh, it's right on the location where the history and the trade history of this whole region began on Dubai Creek. The project it's, it's considered as a mega, mega project with the size that we have uh, of residential, of towers, uh, with the structure, the, the restructure we did for the, for, for the development. Uh, it is mega projects that it will create uh, family life, lifestyle. 
And I believe with the new components, especially the Crystal Lagoon theme park, this is it will be also family destination attraction. So uh, we taking all all considerations to uh, to focus as much as we can on on the family entertainment, family life lifestyle that cover the whole uh, Sharjah waterfront city. The UAE is looking at further cooperation with New Zealand, including areas such as halal food, raising livestock on a commercial scale, and setting up agriculture projects in third world countries in order to achieve food security. The UAE Minister of Economy, His Excellency Sultan bin Said Al Mansouri, made the announcement while speaking at the fifth Joint Economic Commission meeting of both UAE and New Zealand ministers over in the capital. He added that other areas of interest include financial services for issuing sukuks, bonds, Islamic finance products, renewable energy, innovation, higher education and cooperation in environmental issues. It was further added that bilateral trade between the two countries reached 1.48 billion US dollars in 2014, which is also growing at 7% year on year. Companies in the UA have increased staff salaries by an average of 4% this year. That's according to a new report by management consultancy firm, The Hay Group. The pay hike is slightly above the country's inflation rate, which stands at 3%. As per the report, professionals from the automotive and retail sectors have witnessed pay rises of 6.4% and 6.6% respectively. Those working in higher positions have also seen an increase in their wages by around 3 to 8 per cent. Commenting on the current economic situation, the regional manager of the Hay Group was quoted as saying that companies are treading with caution. The firm predicts a more conservative approach to both general spending and future investment plans in both private and public sector organisations in the coming year. Aimed at offering UA residents a taste of Europe, a popular food chain from the Czech Republic, Baguetterie Boulevard, is set to enter the UA's hospitality industry by the end of the year. The gourmet fast food brand has signed a partnership agreement with Binhendi Enterprises to launch around 20 outlets in the UA over the next four years. As per the plans, the brand will make its presence known in the country by launching two outlets at prime locations here in Dubai. Company officials are expecting strong demand from the UA consumers, largely due to the presence of more than 200 nationalities in the country. The brand has a large presence in the Czech Republic and Slovakia, and the UA has been selected as the point of entry for their Middle East expansion plans. Commenting on the offerings, the CEO of Baguetterie Boulevard stated that aside from the freshly prepared baguettes, the chef's menu designed by celebrity chefs from Europe is expected to be hugely popular as it will bring a unique taste to Dubai. We believe that uh, Dubai is the, is the right entry for, the, for this region because it's a, it's a cosmopolitan international place and uh, our, our future customers would not be only domestic people but mainly the international clientele and uh, once we are successful here we believe that uh, the people from this region would, would pick up the brand and they can, they can spread it to other regions around it. Uh, the idea behind the, the Baguetteri Boulevard is to is to put uh, a traditional European recipes into a baguette. So it's a, it's, a, it's a quick and simple form of eating food, but still it's not, it's not, a, it's not a compromise. The vice president of the Binhendi Enterprises Hospitality Division added that they also plan to introduce options to cater to local tastes. As a new addition to their portfolio, it was added that the company aims to launch the casual dining restaurants in popular shopping malls and areas across the country.
This concept is, is kind of uh, fast casual uh, with a very, very authentic taste to the sandwiches, especially the baguettes. Uh, and that's what Baguetteri Boulevard is all about, is the quality of the baguette and the filling and the ingredients and the sauces. It's, it's really, really something is not matched in uh, Dubai or the Middle East at the point. So the, the demand is always there for the good taste and good concept on the go, or you can sit down and have uh, a nice meal. So, and is, and is affordable as well in prices. So we're talking about a complete package when you talk about uh, 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 authentic food, you're talking about the, the, the right price and the right locations. And that's what we gonna bring together uh, for Brunhindi uh, Group too. Uh, we have a, a huge portfolio of different cuisines and this is something really unique it will have an addition to our portfolio and definitely will have an addition to Dubai customers as well.